So I'm giving you guys a gift today. I want you to understand what comes into my inbox on a daily basis and why I always say I only mess with elite performers. Because when you give me average or you give me below average or you give me downright shitty, all it does is steal my chi. I'm doing this for free. So let's get into this comment review. It ain't a comment review. It's an email that I got. I want to go over this little email chain that I got from an ungrateful person. How I handled it, how I dealt with it, and why I don't mess with average. Let's dig into this. So I'm going to give you a little insight into my personality and how I read these emails. I want you to understand since 1998, I've been getting these emails. At this point in my life, I can read the first two sentences. I pretty much know what I got my hands on. Okay? It's not some magic formula. You asking me a thousand questions, I know you full of crap. Okay? So let's get in this email from Mike. I got it yesterday, about 17 hours ago. It was a clean little email. Good afternoon, Mr. Schwig. My name is Mike. So a little bit about me. As I said in the subject, I'm looking to change my life. After 10 years of being a loser... I want to turn my life around and make something of myself. So I decided to try to take a shot at becoming a Green Beret. Now, normally, I would have just asked for your PDF and grinded it out. But there's a bit of a problem. I weigh 361 pounds. Okay? 361 pounds. So when I was reading the email, right there I was done. Okay? Now, I can read really fast, so it didn't take me but a couple minutes to read this email, maybe 30 seconds to read this email. But once I see you that you weigh 361 pounds, there's nothing else for you and me to converse about, okay? I'm not mentoring you if you weigh 361 pounds, okay? Now, if you want me to mentor you, sure, I'll mentor you. You pay me $10,000 a month because you got to pay me for all that stolen chi that you're going to try to take up, okay? So let's continue. Now, before you think I'm a waste of your time, I already know you're a waste of my time, okay? I want to inform you that I've already started the weight loss process and have lost 40 pounds since May 21st off the diet alone. That's a great job, buddy. I ain't stealing no thunder from your 40 pounds. Now, for the reason I'm emailing you, I'm about to start exercising and I want to pick your brain about how should I do it. You want to pick my brain about how you should lose 140 pounds. Okay, okay. So unfortunately, since I was homeless last year and got into some trouble with my money, I won't be able to hit the gym for a bit until I fix my financial situation. However, I can't let that become an excuse. Thankfully, I can at least run a bit, do both push-ups and sit-ups, as well as have two 20-pound dumbbells and an exercise bike, plus my local park district has an outdoor gym. So I'm thinking of my exercise routine being, so then he gave me this exercise routine, okay? Now, we're going to get into what I wrote back to him because it's kind of salient. But right now, we're just going over this initial email and my thoughts about this BS that hit my inbox. Okay, Monday, blah, 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 blah. Tuesday, blah, 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 blah. This dude running suicides at 360 pounds. Not a good idea. Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. Thursday, blah, 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 blah. Friday, I'm going to do a five-mile walk. Okay, Saturday and Sunday rest. You don't need no rest when you're 361 pounds. You need to exercise every day. Okay, so that's my plan. I would really appreciate some feedback. All right? That's what he asked me. Dude, asked me for some feedback. Okay? So let's see what I told him. Boom. Nice little concise email. Hold 30 and walk 10 miles a day. Stop running. Hit me back when you 220. That's a pretty nice email. Nothing crazy about that email. Nothing sideways. Google Hold 30. Get started on that program. I personally lost 70 pounds on it. It was awesome. Okay, no exercise needed. I lost 70 pounds. And walk 10 miles a day. You do it two fives. You can do it however you want to. Just walk 10 miles a day. Stop running. I'm worried about your joints. You're a big man. Don't want to wear out the cartilage in your knees. 
Okay? Hit me back when you 2 to 1. There's nothing else for us to talk about. Okay? Plain and simple. I'm trying to figure out how you 361 pounds if you were homeless last year. Last time I looked, homeless people don't get to eat a whole lot of food. Okay? Unless you was homeless in the baked goods section or something like that. All right? But look, hit me back when we 220. So far, we haven't had nothing crazy going on. Simple email, simple reply. I don't know if you think I'm going to take 10 years to write you a 50-page email about your life, but that is ain't how I operate, partner. Okay? I already got my bullshit meter up because I think you're going to try to steal all my cheat. So I'm just going to send you the little simple email back. Boom. Here it is. Let's look at what I got in response for this ungrateful SOB. Look at this. Fuck. Is a whole 30. Damn. You're not taking me serious. F it. You're going to witness my success. So now I'm going to hit you up every 20. Talk to you next month. I, I'm not sure why I deserve this crazy ass response. But you know me. I meet crazy with crazy. Because that's where I live. So here's my response. Man. And I use the F and the P word. Who the F you talking to? Did you F and Google it? Before you ran your F and mouth? You F and piece of shit. Okay. I gave you the answer. Whole 30 and walk 10 miles a day. But hey. Since you so F and disrespectful. Have a repeat have fun repeating the past okay if you can't listen i can't help you plain and simple i gave it to you you want to be disrespectful you feel like i didn't give you enough time dog you 361 pounds you you 140 pounds away from getting any of my thoughts okay let's be simple plain and simple here you ain't good enough to come over here so until you get there i'm not messing with you because the chances are you're not going to get there. So therefore, I should never even start talking to you. Okay? We'll go through my thought process. So now I'm pissed off. So this is what he gets gives me back. I ain't failing. Like he dealing with me. I don't have to lose the 140 pounds. You got to lose the 140 pounds. Okay? So he's saying, like, I told him he was going to fail. I didn't tell him he was going to fail. I just told him he was being disrespectful and he was being ignorant. Okay, now he done warped the whole thing into some crazy. See, this is why I don't talk to people like this. Because they steal your cheat. They got you making videos about this crazy ass shit that he's emailing you. Okay, I ain't failing. You will hear about me every pound, every gain. I will make you eat those words, blowing me off like that. Like I'm some kind of joke. Thanks for the motivation. Hey, bro. I didn't blow you off. I didn't say you were a joke. But now I'm doing a video review on your dumb ass. And now people are making their own judgments of you. But I really don't care. Until you get to 220, I'm not talking to you anyway. So you're not bothering me at all. Okay? Boom. So I hit him back with one of my tried and true methods on the internet. Just thanks for confirming that you are a female. That's what I hit them back with, man. When they start acting like little girls and babies and, and two-year-olds, I just hit them with the fire, man. Thanks for confirming that you have a pair of breasts and a vagina. Love it. Boom. So I get this back. I looked into the whole 30. It's completely garbage. It will not promote meaningful weight loss. And for your information, most diet plans like this are fads. That later on caused people to rebound and gain more weight than when they started. Meaningful weight loss comes from moderation, portion control, balance, and a change of lifestyle. If you really build champions for life, you would know this. Humble yourself and do some real research. Oh my God, dude. Mike. Mike, are you... Mike, do you not know what channel you came on and emailed? Who you emailed? That might be the dumbest email in the history of mankind. But, once again, I'm just letting you guys know, know what I see every day. These dumbass emails. And y'all wonder why I don't talk to everybody. Okay? So, let's see my response to Mike's email claiming that Whole30 is completely garbage. All caps because I had to send a little message. Mike, please stop emailing me. First, it's a way of life. I lost 70 pounds on it. 
Second, it came from the Cleveland Clinic Functional Medicine Department. The Cleveland Clinic Functional Medicine Department. Maybe the premier functional medicine department in the world. They recommended Whole30. So yeah, it has no credence, Mike. I'm sorry, bro. I just pulled that out of my rear end like I pull everything else out of my rear end. Okay? I don't drop any information to anybody unless I know it works and it's solid, tried, and true. Okay? But Mike, since you got all the answers at 361 pounds, hey, bro, I'm going to hit you with my magic sentence. There are no magic pills. I left the S off because you know me in the English language. There are no magic pills for success. But there is for idiots. Just don't talk to them. Myself. Okay? So, that was it for me. Dude won't get another response until he sends me a picture of 220. Okay? Plain and simple. You guys thought it ended there. Alright? Let's see what this dude sent me this morning. After all that craziness, let's see what he sent me this morning. Okay? Actually, in the middle of the night, at 3.39 a.m. my time, this fool going to send me this big-ass email. Actually, Jake, I owe you an apology. Oh, really, Mike? You owe me an apology. You don't really owe me anything because I'm not talking to you no more. I really don't give a shit. Okay? I'm sorry. I misread the vibe of your first reply. Okay? I misread the vibe. Let's go back to that first reply and see it. Whole 30, walk 10 miles a day, stop running, hit me back when you 220. Uh, pretty sure that's hard to miss. Even, even, even my, my use of the, limited use of the English language understands exactly what I said in that sentence. That's, uh, that's pretty hard to misconstrue, but okay. I misread the vibe of your first reply because I let my insecurities get the better of me. Stealing my cheat. I emailed you not even knowing if you would take me seriously. I ended up getting sticking my foot in my mouth. Oh, really? When you first responded, I assumed that you were giving me this half-assed reply. Really? Because I didn't take time to write 50 damn sentences? Okay? It took a lot of courage to even email you. I'm not sure about that. If it took courage, there's no way you're going to be a Green Beret partner. Because I send emails to people all the damn time. I send an email to Oprah Winfrey. It ain't take no courage. I just hit send. Okay? This journey I want to go on is hard enough, even for Division I athletes, let alone for me who ballooned up to 400 plus pounds. Hey, man, listen. I don't, I don't have pity parties on my channel, man. So no one give a damn where you came from. So why would anybody take me seriously? In all honesty, I was hoping to have a decent conversation with you specifically on exercising. So when I saw the whole 30, I thought it was some has-ass reply about some exercise that you couldn't bother fully writing out. Oh, I didn't hold your penis when you were pissing. Oh, can you please wipe my ass too? No, I can't, Mike. Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You got me cutting this crazy ass video on this ridiculousness. Okay. Plus, saying hit me up when I was 220. I thought I was counted out before I even began. Nah, Mike. When you get to 220, hit me up. That's pretty damn simple. Especially because I had more questions. That was very cowardly of me seeing as I could have just asked you what it was. Yeah, Google that shit. I'm sorry I let my ego get the best of me when I found out that Whole30 was a meal plan. I took it as an insult, too. In fact, the matter is I came to you because I, I know nothing and I was hoping to learn. That's bullshit. I gave you what you needed to learn. Don't come to me asking like this fucking bullshit. It's simple. Go on Whole30, walk 10 miles a day. The plan don't get no easier than that. You, wanna, you want some inspiration? Go over to David Goggins' channel. Look at what that dude did, okay? Now I understand if you still don't want nothing to do with me, but I still want you to witness me succeed, but as a mentor and not an enemy, because the fact of the matter is I'm almost positive you have never in any of your videos told somebody they couldn't do it. You goddamn right. I ain't never told nobody they can't do it. I just tell them it's really fucking hard, okay? Funny thing is, you too, when I was thinking about it, no one has ever said that this would be impossible for me, but me. 
I guess I got more to learn. I actually took your advice after blowing up on you. I walked six miles until I got dehydrated and felt my blood sugar dropping. So I, I know I didn't appreciate it at first, but thank you for the advice. You talk all that shit and you can only walk six miles. See, that's why I said walk ten. Okay. So once more, Jake, I apologize for expecting the worst out of you. And thank you because even though you wanted to be done with me, you're still dropping knowledge, Mike. Yeah, Mike, I only got one volume, bro. That's fucking success, man. We build champions for life around this camp. If you ain't ready for that life, you come over here and get your feelings hurt. That's what happens, bro. Hey, man, as always, man, if you like this crazy-ass video that I did, it's the first of a kind of email review. Make sure you share it with your friends. If you love this bad boy, go ahead. Yo, you're supposed to share it with your friends if you love it. As always, man, you know the master class is rolling along. I actually got the land nav class done. It just ain't up yet. I got some big stuff coming out. We rolling. My time, we moved to San Antonio, Texas. So if you've down here in a big T, let me know. And as always, you know what we building around this camp. That's right. We building champions for life.